Day after day, Mike Duffy arrives at court to fight his criminal case related to the alleged fraud during his time as senator of Prince Edward Island. But sources tell CBC News Duffy was concerned about his appointment as a senator for PEI from the get-go and even suggested to Prime Minister Stephen Harper he represent Ontario instead, given everyone knew he hadn't lived in PEI for decades. Go back and forth. Sources say Harper refused and insisted it be PEI. Duffy clearly relented. CBC News has pieced together the evidence filed in court. What emerges is the picture of a senator scrambling to deal with the fallout of his decision. On December 22nd, Duffy is named to the Senate with 17 others. The next day, he meets with Senate officials but does not sign his residency declaration. On December 29th, he travels back to PEI on his first official trip. Three days later, both he and his wife get their PEI driver's license. And on that same day, Duffy writes in his diary that he speaks to Dave Penner, head of appointments at PMO, and Paul Bilil, the Senate clerk, about property documentation. January 6, Duffy then signs his primary residence declaration. That same day, a memo goes out to Duffy and now suspended Senator Pamela Wallen from Senate leadership to reassure them. The Senate has never disqualified anyone for not being a resident of their province of appointment, providing they own property there. The Prime Minister claimed that before he appointed Mike Duffy to the Senate, Duffy signed a declaration swearing that he was a resident of PEI. Can the Prime Minister please tell Canadians which declaration he was referring us to and when exactly did Mike Duffy sign it? The Prime Minister ignored the question entirely. When it comes to what we've done to, to give 11 million Canadians tax-free savings... Mike who? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike Duffy! The Prime Minister's office would offer no comment on any of this, except to say this matter is still in front of the courts. Peter. All right, Rosie, thank you.